people didn't make it out of their homes. The severe winter weather blamed for nearly 60 deaths nationwide. One of the state's hardest hit, New York. Air Force One got President Biden to his Caribbean vacation, no problem. Excuse me, excuse me, senor. May I speak to you, please? I asked for a Mai Tai and they brought me a pina colada. And I said, no salt, no salt for the margarita, but it had salt on it. There's big grains of salt on Los Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. It's your boy, Benny, and Joe Biden is an asshole. That's right, we know it, and you know it, and why this time is Joe Biden an asshole? Well, this Christmas, it was freezing cold in Tampa, Florida. Just to give you some perspective, you could see your breath, and you could see frost on the ground in Tampa, Florida. I live in a tropical climate. That's how cold it was here. It was really cold all around the country. The blizzard of the century hit Buffalo, New York. Tons of people have been killed in this bomb cyclone, freezing cold winter that struck the entire northern hemisphere, North America, and really caused enormous amounts of pain. This is what it looked like inside of Buffalo. People snowed in, vehicles getting plowed off the streets, people unable to get out for basic services, people freezing to death. That's right. This has killed dozens of people in New York. This is what houses looked like on Lake Erie. Look at that craziness right there. Craziness. This is like out of a day after tomorrow, like disaster movie stuff. People had to spend Christmas in Target sleeping on the floor because their houses were frozen shut. This is what people people's bedrooms look like inside of Target. In Buffalo, New York, that's what the doors look like because the bomb cyclone and the freezing cold weather really damaged and hurt people as a little mover has to move the cars out of the way. Look at that. Have you ever seen that? Crazy. I've never seen anything like it. I have to move these little move the cars so they can plow the street. These in the the coldest winter in 40 years in some of these places all across the country. Devastation, death, and people, of course. Again, having to spend Christmas locked inside of a Target. At least they weren't uh, freezing to death inside of their homes. But, yo, a very, very bad Christmas. So where is the president? Where's Joe Biden? You would think that Joe Biden, New York's a blue state. You'd think Joe Biden would really care about these poor people. Here's his voters right there. That's, a, that's probably a Biden voter. You know, hey, hey it's New York. You know, look at these, pla- these, places, these people, these sad people. Allentown. I don't know. Is that in Pennsylvania? There you go. Look at all these sad Biden voters. Where's the where's the where's the boy? Where's the boy? Where's their boy? You voted for Joe Biden. Where is he? Well, Joe Biden happens to be in a place called St. Croix. St. Croix is a tropical island that Joe Biden escaped to because it was too cold in Washington, D.C. He escaped to a beachfront property owned by a billionaire with a private beach on a private island. That's right. Biden enjoying luxury free vacation on the Virgin Islands, LaCroix specifically, after a massive winter storm. Three bedroom beach house has beach access, private views, private water. It's owned by a billionaire Democrat donor and 32 people have died in Buffalo as a result of the storm. So great job, Joe. Biden jetted off as Southwest Airlines flight cancellations leave Americans stranded. Here's where Joe Biden's spending his Christmas. While Americans are freezing to death in blue states, Joe Biden is down here soaking up the sun, soaking up the sun in this private beach mansion right here in St. Croix. Billionaire house. Here's Joe Biden on his way. See you later. I'm not going to freeze. I'm going to go stay at this schmuck's house. There it is. Private pool, the beautiful water. What's the weather like in St. Croix? Let's add nice 80 degrees. There you go. It's perfect. A little 80 degrees right there. Uh, some scattered clouds. Boy, looks like the highs and lows are going to be 79, 77, 78. Boy, beautiful. And here's the here's the advisories because Joe Biden's there. So you're not allowed to fly over the uh, island of St. Croix because Joe Biden has parked his old diseased dementia Dandruffy ass up at this countertop and is asking Ashley Biden when shower time is. There is the private pool with the private views of the private island in Joe Biden's little estate. That 
there you go. Of course, it's not his estate. Of course, he didn't do anything, earn any money to actually buy this. Oh, there's, and there's, that's the face Ashley makes when it's shower time. There's Joe and Jill. Oh, look at Joe. Joe's taking a selfie. You know, doesn't get to take selfies. These people, they might not even be alive. They're on Lake Erie. These people, who knows what happened to them? Probably Joe Biden voters. Yeah, people are pretty pissed about this. Thousands of flights canceled. Southwest airline staff calling flyers, cops on flyers uh, uh, in Tennessee. The officer, officer Marshall, uh, uh, str- marshaled stranded customers away from the gate in Tennessee. Tennessee's are st- these these customers for Southwest are so upset. The shares of Southwest are plummeting right here. This is what Southwest stocks doing right now. It's collapsing because thousands of flights, more than five thousand flights. Uh, were canceled, so they had to call the police on unruly uh, passengers. Sam Brinton, uh, hunting ground right here. Look at all these bags. Look at all these stranded bags. The old, Sam, somewhere in a jail cell, Sam Brinton is stroking his little red mustache, going, ah, ah, please, please let me out. Look at, ah, imagine all the women's underwear that I could wear in there. Yeah, you know, it just, just goes to show you that there are Certainly differences in the way that people are treated back uh, about three years ago. Was that it? About three years ago, uh, Ted Cruz was Ted Cruz was destroyed for flying to Cancun when there was a big freeze going on uh, in the state of Texas. Let's just listen to now unemployed former CNN commentator Chris Saliza hyperventilate about that. Things go sideways for your constituents. Don't go on vacation, especially in the age of social media. Texas Senator Ted Cruz broke that last rule in early February when he and his family were spotted by Twitter users with their camera phones at the ready, <laughs> hopping on a plane to the resort town of Cancun, Mexico, amid a devastating winter storm and yeah. subsequent power grid failure in his home state that left millions in dire straits. Quote, I can't believe I have to say this, but... If you're- oh, okay, so wh- here's why Ted Cruz flying to Cancun was so bad. It was so bad. Oh, my goodness. It's so bad, according to CNN, with their 14 million subscribers. Man, ladies and gentlemen, please subscribe to this channel. We can get more subscribers than CNN. I know we can do it, and we shall do it. Ladies and gentlemen, this was really, it's really bad when Republicans do it. Look, we'll take photos of him. We'll shame him. We'll scream and yell about him. But nothing happens when Joe Biden behaves like a complete a-hole and goes on vacations in the Caribbean while Americans freeze to death in blue states. Of course, we all know that Joe Biden is a selfish prick. He is the most selfish absolute megalomaniacal president we've ever had best demonstrated by this insult, but by the most famous insult where Joe Biden had utter indifference to the suffering of Americans, something that has absolutely punctuated his 90 year career in American politics. The worst thing Joe Biden has done since president. It's it's hard to find the worst one, but this certainly is it staring at his watch during the dignified transfer in Delaware after he ordered 13 service members to their deaths. Secretary of State as well. In this ceremony, it's quite symbolic as the family members there are joining in. It's one of the more grave responsibilities of the commander in chief. But it was soon after he went to FEMA to give a briefing on the hurricane. And it's there that a reporter attempted to get a question in and he brushed it off. I'm not I'm not supposed to take any questions, but go ahead. Mr. President, on Afghanistan? I'm not going to answer Afghanistan now. Laura, the other apparent uh, misstep of the president today has been a moment in that ceremony when he appears to check his watch for the time, which wouldn't be quite in keeping with the moment. Supporters, defenders of the president have said that that's a gift of his uh, late son, Beau Biden, but that's actually been uh, repeatedly uh, found to be a false story. It came up originally during the inauguration, but it's uh, proven to be a gift from clarification from the White House from the First Lady, Jill Biden, for a Christmas. It's a Rolex uh, reportedly around $7,000, which garnered a bit of media coverage at the time. But this- oh. Okay, so Joe Biden checking his Rolex while the bodies of American service members are rolled off the plane, flag draped in front of him. 
such an arrogant, pretentious, evil man. These people are evil people. We cannot be led by evil people in this country. We must have a renaissance. We must have a great awakening. And we certainly hope that this is shaking you from the cold Joe Biden vacationing in the Caribbean while Americans suffer and freeze to death. Where's the outrage? Well, we have it. And we hope it warmed your cold little hearts. Thank you for watching. Our channel is here to meme the libs until they cry and then to meme them crying. Their tears taste like ice cream. We ridicule the establishment and we do so because of you. Your support keeps us going. So if you liked what you saw, please click the thumbs up. Please punch, subscribe, and ring the bell to let you know when we have a new video. Don't you want us to let you know when we're live? Please check out more of our videos here and sign up for our mailing list in case something happens and the plug gets pulled. We want to be able to keep in touch with you. My name is Benny Johnson and thank you for watching Based Patriots Stay Free.